In this video, we are going to estimate the sizes of the Monsterverse Titans as per their largest dimensions. For example, Scylla is 341 feet tall, but its leg span from tip to tip, like how we measure a spider, is more than double. Also for Godzilla, who is 393 feet or 120 meters tall, his length from the nose to the tip of the tail is totally different. We have done the same thing for 20 other Titans, and so let's get to them. At the bottom we have Camazots. So Camazots is a massive flying titan known for bringing a storm to Skull Island. It has a staggering wingspan of 4 and 2 feet. This vast wingspan is Camazots largest dimension, dwarfing its actual body height and length. Known as the Demon Bat, it is a creature that thrives in darkness. Then next we have the Warbat. In contrast to most flying titans, Warbats are characterized by their serpentine bodies rather than their wide wingspans. With a total length of 423 feet, Warbats are amongst the most agile and predatory titans in the Hollow Earth, using their flexible whip-like bodies to coil around and constrict their prey and even enemy titans. Next is Kong. So Titanus Kong stands at an impressive height of 337 feet, but its arm reach significantly extends its total length to 438 feet, enhancing his reach. Despite being taller, Kong's shorter arm reach places him behind Scar King in overall length due to the latter's exaggerated limb proportions. And yes, so we come to Scar King. He is slightly shorter in height compared to Kong, standing at 319 feet or 97 meters. However, with his disproportionately long arms, the Scar King achieves a total length of 478.5 feet, making him a formidable titan with superior reach in combat. Up next we have the female Muro. The female Muro is a titan with long spider-like legs, giving it a height of 300 feet, but with a leg span that extends to 495 feet, which is almost 66% more than its overall height, making it an agile and deadly creature with excellent reach. Then next we have the Iron Dragon. The Iron Dragon is a colossal flying titan with an estimated wingspan of between 500 to 600 feet. Due to the lack of official measurements, the Iron Dragon's size is based on comparisons with other titans with Godzilla to be precise, showcasing it as one of the larger airborne creatures in a titanverse. Then we have the Muto Prime. The Muto Prime is a towering titan standing at 350 feet, with a leg span that extends to 535 feet, making it capable of delivering devastating blows to its enemies. Its long limbs allow it to maintain a tactical advantage during battles with Godzilla. Then we have Methuselah. Methuselah is a unique titan known for its massive body. Its height is around 332 feet, but when we measure it from the nose to the tail, it comes in at 612 feet. So Methuselah is like a moving mountain, blending its stone-like height with the terrain. Then we have Behemoth. Titanus Behemoth stands at a height of 354 feet, but its total length nearly doubles when its massive tusks are taken into consideration, stretching up to 690 feet. These tusks, along with its elephantine body, makes it a force of nature, capable of devastating structures and cities. Then we have Scylla. Titanus Scylla is an enormous titan with an astounding leg span of overshadowing its 341 foot height. The combination of its towering stands and long legs makes Scylla a creature capable of terrorizing entire cities and titans. Then we have Godzilla. So Titanus Gojira, the king of the monsters, boasts an impressive overall length of maybe around 800 feet which is more than double its height of 393 feet. This massive size contributes to Godzilla's immense physical power and dominance over other titans. Then we also have Mechagodzilla, which is built as a mechanical counterpart to Godzilla. Mechagodzilla matches its organic counterpart in size, with a length of around the same, 800 feet, and a height of also the same one, which is 393 feet, designed to counter and overpower the Titan King. So over to Mothra, her primary dimension of note is her vast wingspan, which extends to 803 feet. Despite her massive wings, Mothra's body measures only 52 feet, which is in stark contrast. Then we also have Tiamat. We can call her the Queen of the Seas. She measures an impressive 847 feet, longer than Godzilla, surpassing even Mechagodzilla in terms of sheer length, which makes her very dominant in the ocean depths. 
Now we come to Rodan. Rodan is another massive flying titan with a wingspan of 871 feet, far exceeding his body length of only 154 feet. This extensive wingspan gives Rodan unmatched aerial dominance and the ability to create devastating hurricane-like winds. Then we have Nakika. She is the longest oceanic titan measuring 898 feet in length, but despite her almost entirely soft-bodied nature, she is still a very dangerous destroyer titan. But for some reason, she has in the past been trapped by human titan hunters. Next is Amhulug. Titanus Amhulug possesses a unique ability to extend its arm reach multiple times its height, so it stands at 379 feet. But Amhulug's arms can extend to an estimated minimum of 1000 feet or 300 meters, making it an extraordinarily formidable creature in combat, as we have seen him beating even Behemoth. Then we come to the Drowned Viper. The Drowned Viper is an aquatic titan of immense proportions seen in the hollow earth and not in the oceans, and is estimated to be around 1213 feet in length as per our own calculations. Its size surpasses most other underwater titans, making it the longest known aquatic one in the monsterverse. Now on the third spot we have Shimu. So Shimu is a quadrupedal titan with an official height of 375 feet on all fours and 533 feet on two. However, when her entire body length is calculated, Shimu may reach between 1125 feet and 1200 feet, somewhere in between, which shows it is one of the largest titans in the monsterverse. Then at number two, we have King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah is one of the largest titans ever, with a height of 521 feet and a length of, that stretches over 1000 feet due to its very long tails. However, its most impressive dimension is its colossal wingspan, which measures at a staggering 1300 feet, allowing Ghidorah to dominate the skies. And of course, at number one, we have the Mega Titan Skeleton. The Mega Titan Skeleton found in the Hollow Earth is one of the most colossal remains discovered, measuring over 3.3 kilometers in length, while well, the maximum estimated length of the skeleton would reach to over 4.8 kilometers or 3 miles, hinting at the existence of ancient titans of epic sizes in the past in the Monsterverse. Now those are the 20 longest titans of the Monsterverse as per our calculations of their ultimate dimensions. Now lay back for a while and have a long thought about it. So like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.